Alright, uh, this is it. This is the one that I don't even mean no bullshit. This is actually my song. This is the one I've tried for all this time for so fucking long. Yeah, this is the one. And I will take this home. Man, for my brother, I really miss this. Jason Lynn Caldwell, this is for you and my grandma and my relatives. And everyone that, everyone that wants to care, bitch, I guess. All I get is one stare, one kiss, and one check, and one fucking pain pill, and one out of van. And the half man put it in my hand, trying to release everything I just began. So I swallow everything in my hand, take a fucking break, and try to be the man. And by this time, I done already cooked steak for my grandma. This is her birthday, 4-19-2016, hey. Yeah, and I done something that nobody else would do, jumping. I just lost my only food stamp, so my girlfriend paid the cost to be the boss, and we boosting. Cause guess what? They didn't get to her just quite yet, so we had to make distance. She got 196 motherfucking dollars, now we're bitching. So I bought a $20 pack of steak with four fucking marbleized rib eyes, and yeah, that's that cake. That's that shit that make a steak. That's that rib eye that made me cake. In my eyes, I look and see all I see smiles. I even get there and she runs out of black pepper. I just look in the eyes and the skies and I stare like I really needed that. But you know what? I grabbed a fucking can of the meat tenderizer, put it right here. Like you know, I can't do this. I can't shit them, but I ain't gonna do no bullshit. So I started seasoning every fucking thing. Started seasoning it like I knew it in my brain. Started seasoning every fucking thing. I'm insane. Flip it over. Yeah, it's medium rare, bitch. Put it on my brain like put it in a dresser. Put it in a hot plate. Put it in my esser. Put it in my essay. Send it back to my college address. And then address her later. Send it to my college professor. It's wearing an alligator because you know he's a stressor. Wonder why the fuck he's still not cool. Cause I'm still sitting here. I just tried that. Actually, my grandma really liked her fucking birthday present. Nobody ever does that for her. I just showed up at 10 o'clock. Well, make it 11, but you know I'm about to drop. Had to make the fucking... Yeah, the stop here and stop there, I'm puffing. Yeah, get me about four large russet baked potatoes in my hand. I'll be in charge. Yeah, take it and just go in there and just make it. Luckily, the fucking pants is already washed. Look at me, everything Randy done accomplished, made everything for me so easy so I couldn't conquer it. So I could, I have to thank Randy too, he done good. I love this nigga, he's me and mine, man. And his mindset, I'm me and his hood. And he knows how the fuck it is to be one type of nigga that just never really knows if he's doing enough. All he ever does is try to be the toughest one. He's so tough. He's the toughest one. He never will motherfucking bust. He's just the one that holds it there. He's just the one with that cold dark stare. He's just that one like I gotta be there. In that specific time. Yeah, I'll let you slide then. Other than that, thanks for the shot. And for the line, man. And guess what? A line every day keeps the doctor away. Because when you hear my bullshit, you know you're going to be... You're going to be jacked up trying to fucking figure which of them ever which way. Hacked up, looking up and down like I'm... Damn, I just spent you, spent you all around. Spent you in a circle. Next thing you fall on the ground, you fucking get back up. You say, I'm just sorry and sorry about your luck because that didn't work. Dude. And then you just say, well, I guess I ain't got eyes in the back of my head yet. I guess I need to hire some help. Who you want to strap to my back next? That doesn't talk. They speak. Clicks. These African people really are great.